Just a few days ago, I, I started my 31st year teaching at Center High School. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I can honestly say I still love it. Um, it. It's not to say there haven't been challenges over the last three decades. Um, I started my teaching career uh, in a relatively small, formerly elementary school district. And um, it actually provided me with a lot of amazing opportunities because everything from the course offerings to the field trips to the athletic programs to the clubs we had to develop. And um, we worked very, very hard. And uh, the district and site administration and the school board were just incredibly supportive of our efforts as they still are today. Um, even with our recent fiscal challenges, they've helped keep us in afloat and actually helped us expand our science offerings uh, to provide students with coursework that will help them achieve their future career goals. Um, finding connections beyond the classroom, too, has been uh, an opportunity that um, I've pursued. Over the last decade, I was fortunate enough to have worked with uh, and collaborated with the Center for Biophotonics at UC Davis. Um, with their financial and educational support and our district's facilities, we were able to run an after-school biophotonic academy at the high school for several years. And it's been real rewarding watching many of these students move on and pursue careers in college and uh, in the workforce in science and engineering. And yet some of my fondest memories of my career um, have probably been the, the field ecology courses that we've taken students on to along the California coast to Yosemite and to Hawaii. Um, I think this is probably the key to me enjoying 30 plus years of teaching. Um, taking subjects and experiences and hobbies that I love and being able to share them with the next generation. Uh, especially students like Laura. Um, when you have students that, that have a curiosity about learning and life and they're willing to accept challenges and then having the tenacity to, to overcome those challenges. Um, whether it's dissecting a fetal pig or maybe figuring out how to quantify the uh, photosynthetic activity of chloroplasts or climbing Half Dome or paddling a kayak across Kealakekua Bay. Um, I got to admit, science education can take a lot of different forms. And uh, so I've really enjoyed the last 30 years and I'm looking forward to the next five or six years of my teaching career. <laughs> and also all the adventures that lie ahead. So thank you very much.